Party Bus Volume 3. Once we got all the lighting and all that stuff figured out and got all that stuff figured going, uh, now we could actually start putting in audio. So the audio thing had its own request. Um, and again, I wanted the driver to have a lot of control, but I wanted the people in the back to kind of be left on their own where they could do their own stuff. So up in the dash, we have a Stinger High 10, which gives us a, uh, a 10 inch screen with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, HDMI input, you know, four camera videos uh, or camera system, all sorts of stuff. To start with, we did do three cameras. It's a bus, it's a big freaking bus. So we knew we needed a backup camera, but we also put on left and right turn signal cameras. So when you flip a switch, it switches over to those inputs. Um, and then the backup camera was kind of, you know, an obvious necessity. Uh, Cause we took away his back window. So he didn't even have that because there's now a closet in the way. For audio, what we did uh, is we did a wet sounds um, zone control. You have four different zones that control all the different aspects of the stereo system. We have the front two speakers, so his door and the one by the front stairs. You have the back cabin where we have eight uh, Arc Audio six and a half speakers. Then we also have the subwoofer is on its own separate zone, but then we have outside speakers too. Under the bus, there are four Stinger Marine six and a halfs in a birch uh, plywood enclosure that is then coated in just a metric ton of bed liner. Then that's uh, bolted up with metal brackets to the bottom of the bus, and then we run those wires back and through. So all the audio signal goes from the, the Stinger High 10, goes to the wet sound zone controller, goes all through the bus, and then it goes to the back wall. We have all audio control amplifiers using an audio control D6.1200. So that's running the front doors and then the eight cabin speakers. So that's a DSP processed amplifier that gives us crossovers and EQ control for all those different zones. Then it runs to a LC1.1500 and that's running our last Phoenix Gold TI3X big massive 12 and that's in a big ported box. And then um, we have a uh, audio control, um, I'm really bad with model numbers, I think it's an ADM 4.300. So we have, seven, we have 300 watts on the outside speakers, 1200 watts on the cabin speakers, and 1500 watts on the subwoofer. This thing gets down. It is a party bus by any definition. From the driver's seat, he has master volume. He can turn his two speakers up and down independently. Uh, he has um, the, the cabin speakers. He can turn those up and down independently. If he pulls up somewhere and he's trying to get attention, then you know he can turn up the outside speakers and he can really have the sucker jamming. Again, more thought process and more pr um, functions of stuff that had to be worked into the system. All we were short from having a, an apartment was a toilet and a shower. We had a 6,000 watt uh, 110 volt system to run the air conditioner and the TV and the fridge and the bar sink and all of that stuff. We have a massive 12 volt system running lights in the big stereo system with about 3000 watts on it. Um, we had laminate flooring, we had custom wood furniture and walls with two by four studs and insulation and a vacuum system. I mean, it's literally an apartment. To finish it all out, we put 100 amps worth of rock lights on the outside with three RGB controllers. Uh, I think there's 24, 26 rock lights underneath the bus. We also did some cosmetic stuff and some maintenance stuff with new uh, chrome wheel simulators, new grill, new headlights. We did alarm, full alarm and remote start because we added on the, you know, the door triggers for the, for the dome light circuits. We went ahead and used those circuits to tie them in with the alarm system. So if any of the outside doors get uh, opened up while they're on their vacations, then it's gonna set the alarm off. It'll page him through the remote control, let him know that something's going on. Um, but with the remote start, that way he can start it and he can leave the air conditioner going and get the vehicle cooled off before they actually have to get into the truck. It was by any means the Mona Lisa of my career. It was a whole heck of a lot of fab. Um, I did all the fabrication and upholstery. Uh, Austin did uh, a lot of the wiring and helped up me with the wiring and the installation of speakers and components like that. 
Uh, Landon, of course, was here and helped out whenever we needed a hand on doing, you know, any of the other, just when it, whenever we needed a hand. For the most part, it was my project over the course of about 14 months, and Austin and Landon uh, tackled and kept the rest of the shop running. We did have other jobs and stuff going on. It did not take me 14 straight months to do it. If I actually had dedicated time, it would probably take about three months of, of my life. It's a lot of trips back and forth to Lowe's and to get the the, the plumbing on the sink and stuff figured out and getting our, our laminate from our supplier in town and getting our cabinet hinges and materials with that. I mean, it was just a lot of little aspects that we don't typically think of doing an amp and sub install on a car. In the end, Don loves it. Don shows it off to anybody that he can. It's been running nonstop, taking prom groups and city officials and city visitors and stuff around. Anytime that somebody has an idea for doing something to show off as a group, then that vehicle is what's being taken. So it was real fantastic chance and opportunity to be able to do a vehicle uh, like this and to take on a project of that magnitude. It was also real reassuring to us to be able to say, hey, we can do this. We can do something of this capability. Um, anytime we show the photos off, uh, anytime the vehicle is here, we're showing it off. Customers love it and are always impressed with it. I, I have to say is by far one of the coolest things that we've ever done around here. I know that was a lot of information to go over. Uh, this video went a lot longer than I was honestly expecting it to be, but there's just so many aspects of that build. And when customers see it, they're always like, well, what did y'all do in here? And the answer is always everything. Well, what specifically did you do? No, everything. When we got this bus, the only thing in it was the driver's seat. We started from scratch, but it was, as I said, it was really nice to have a customer that gave us kind of carte blanche to a point and said, do it. You know, we throw ideas at him and he lets do it. So, I mean, that's why we were able to take on and add so many different aspects of this build. Ideas that I've had over my 20 year career to say, hey, what if and can we, and this would look cool, you know, let's try this. And that's one thing about this industry is I've had employees and customers always ask, you know, how long did it take you to learn this? Well, 20 years, honestly. Um, this is something that if you're not trying stuff on a regular basis, if you're not expanding and challenging yourself, you're not going to learn, you're not going to grow. So this is taking something from this job and something from this job and something from this job and oh, I saw that from another professional and I liked that idea and m combining everything together and making it all work together and making it all belong. Like I said, I just wanted y'all to be able to see a little more in depth what goes into you know, planning something like this and working forward, working backward, working forward and the hurdles and the challenges that we had to overcome with it. I don't think a whole lot of things that I would change on it after looking back at it, but would I do it again? Absolutely. If somebody came in with another party bus, I'm going to charge more, <laughs> but we're going to, we would do it again. I would have no problem with that. So I hope that y'all enjoyed seeing, you know, more behind the scenes and what the thought process is on everything is. And, you know, just, you know, take a bit and learn off of it. Hopefully, hopefully you can learn from something that we've talked about, but hopefully you just enjoyed, you know, seeing you know, what goes on around here. If y'all have questions, like I said, hit us in the comments, give us a shout, find us on Facebook, uh, on Instagram, call the shop, shoot me an email, all the information's at the end. Thanks guys.